Crutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Globo Test Flight. Andy Anderson, backyard aircraft designer, tensely watches his latest creation. So far, so good, Paddlefoot. Pull out, boys. Pull out. 2,300 miles an hour, Spinner. But hold on. I I'm holding as tight as I can, Clutch. And just across the field at the P.J. Colosso Aircraft Company, we find two more interested spectators. P.J. Colosso, chairman of the board, and his chief designer, Willie, back to the old drawing board, Fradykins. Yeah, that's Clutch Cargo flying Andy Anderson's latest design. But wait till they see ours, eh, Willie? But, P.J., our design still has a few bugs in it, and we don't even have a pilot. Nonsense, Willie. I think of everything. I advertised in the want ads for a pilot, and he's waiting outside now. But, 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 P.J., what about the bugs? That'll be his worry. Come in, sir. Bamshot is the name. Colonel Bascom T. Bamshot, pilot Excelsior, at your service. <laughs> Bamshot or Boomshot? You look just like the man I need to fly our newest creation. But, P.J., sir, we're not quite ready. The bugs, remember? Nonsense. Come on. I want Colonel Boomshot to see our entry in the global flight test. Oh, my. There she is, all ready to go, go, go. But, but, but P.J., sir, there's still a few stress problems to test. Nonsense. She's fit as a fiddle. Why, I'd fly her myself. Hmm. Well, just put it back together and be ready for takeoff at daylight, will he? Oh, dear. Oh, my. How'd she go, Clutch? Beautiful, Andy. I think you got a winner. She flies perfect, Mr. Andy. Fine. We're ready for the global test flight on schedule. Now, how about briefing us our flight plan? The maps and checklists are right inside the hangar. Now, here's our plan, boys. And keep it under your hats until takeoff. This test calls for perfect performance in all kinds of weather. Thunderheads, hurricanes, heat barriers, refueling at 50,000 feet, radar instrument and weightlessness test, 9G pullout, inverted flight in acrobats, and as the finale, you'll fly under the Golden Gate Bridge. Paddlefoot! Paddlefoot, come back here! There must have been something on the checklist that frightened him. We haven't time to play games now. Hmm. Fine rig cargo, Scott, here. Now, I'll explain the course to you. Plenty tricky exhaust valves, the latest spark and flubers on the Svetsenhausen's. Maybe I should, uh... Yeah, yeah, I think I should. Uh-oh, looks like trouble, and even before the big test starts. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Globo Test Flight. You remember last time, Clutch and Company had agreed to fly Andy Anderson's latest jet design in a global test flight. The Colosso Company would test their latest design, too. Colonel Bamshot, Colosso's pilot, was examining Andy's jet. Maybe I should, uh... With everything in readiness, early next morning... There she is, fueled up and ready to go. She sure is a beauty. Golly! Every time I think about flying around the world, the butterflies in my stomach start flapping their wings. 
I wonder how Colosso's making out across the field. I hear they got a new hot pilot named Bamshot. Well, I hope he's ready. Takeoff's in two minutes. Let's just see what's going on over at Colosso Aircraft. You sure you fixed these wings on good and tight, Willie? Oh, yes, sir. I worked all night to make it ready for the big flight. Well, I think you just ought to ride along to make sure nothing goes wrong. Oh, no, thank you, sir. I never go up. I don't believe in taking unnecessary chances. Well, now, isn't that just dandy, Willie? I think so. It's the only practical way to be. I quite agree. I don't like taking unnecessary chances either. So... Come with me. Please, sir. I just design them. I never go up. As a matter of fact, I've never been up. And this is no time to start on a global test flight. Well, you're going on one now. By the by, how do you start this thing? Well, here's the starter button. Just push it. That sets better. Idle foot. Here we go. Starter won't catch. What's wrong, Clutch? I don't know. Started okay yesterday. Hey, Clutch, hurry. That other plane is taking off already. Hmm. Should start, Clutch. Try one more time. Look, something's bugging out the tailpipe. Bubble gum. Bubble gum? Someone tried to gum up the valves. Stand back. Hang on, Spinner. That thing will blast us off any second. Put on your oxygen masks. This is gonna be a zero launch. What a takeoff! What a takeoff! Good luck, boys! explosion gave us just the boost we needed to catch up, Spinner. Yeah, Clutch. And if they're the ones that did it, it backfired on them. We're approaching the storm area. Time for the turbulence test. Tighten your seatbelts. We'll be getting plenty choppy. Oh, oh. Put me down. Teach me back. Let me out. Will you shut up and leave me concentrate on the sun ahead, you bumblehead? Clutch's plane possibly stay together? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Global Test Flight. You remember last time, Colonel Bamshot, the pilot for the Colossal Company, had put bubble gum in the tailpipe of Clutch's jet. Clutch used the big bubble to help him take off. As they continued on, the first test was for turbulence. Clutch, are we this speed, it's hailstones we have to look out for. Hey, Colonel, Clutch car goes right behind us. Just what I've been waiting for. I brought along a little surprise. What do you mean? Cloud seeding. Cloud seeding? Yeah, with dry ice. Makes hailstones as big as cannonballs. What? Hailstones? They're as big as baseballs. At this speed, it could poke holes right through us. Dear me, you knocked them out of the sky. They're falling. They're disappearing. They wanted to test that dud and all kinds of other, so I gave it to them. Too bad they couldn't pass. That leaves just us. Sit back and relax. The rest will be smooth sailing. Up. We'll go right into the 
supersonic and G pull-out test. Sonic barrier never failed. Now for the 9G pull-out. Get set. Here goes. Negative G run. Here goes. Wee! I like this better. <laughs> and look at Paula Foot. Andy's sure got a good plane here. Our recording instruments will have all the data for the judges. Hey, Clutch, the radar screen. Hurricane ahead over the ocean. Right, Spinner. Right on schedule. We're to rendezvous with a refueling plane in the eye of that hurricane. Good thing. We're just about out of fuel. As Clutch and Company head into the hurricane area, we race on ahead to find Colonel Bamshot and Willie, who by cutting the corners of the test flight, have reached the refueling plane ahead of schedule. That does it, boys. You can cut off now. My tanks are full. See you next year. But what about Dutch Cargo? Who can forget about him? We lost him in a hailstorm back there. We're in the eye of a hurricane. But, but where's the refueling plane, Clutch? We're a thousand miles over the ocean. That's the end of our fuel. Flame out. Out. The most frightening sound for any jet pilot. Are they done for? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Global Test Flight. You remember last time Clutch and Company on a global test flight in a jet have completed several hard tests. They have to refuel inside the center of a hurricane. As they arrive at the spot... We're a thousand miles over the ocean! That's the last of our fuel. Flame out! Clutch! Clutch! We're headed for the ocean! Mayday! Mayday! Clutch cargo on global test flight. Out of fuel, flame out, going down. Longitude, 40 degrees. Latitude, 33 degrees. Altitude, 25,000 feet, dropping fast. We can see the ocean. Mayday, mayday. Colonel, it's Clutch Cargo. They didn't go down in that hailstorm after all. I heard them, you fool. No time to go back now. But, Colonel, that's not cricket. Ha <laughs> ha, who cares? I am out to win at any cost. If I could fly this thing, I'd go back and drop Clutch Cargo a life raft. Andy Anderson built that plane, and he's a friend of mine. Ah, dry up. Colonel Bamshot, you are a beast and a scoundrel. Oh, what am I ever going to do? Who can shut up? Mayday, we're down to 5,000 feet. Help! That's Cargo. Refueling plane to Clutch Cargo. We are in your vicinity. Can you see us? There they are! Behind us! We can see you, Charlie. About two miles astern at about 7,000 feet. Hang on, cargo. We're coming in on top of you. Roger, Charlie. That ocean's looking wetter by the second. We are extending the probe. I'm in position. Throttle back. Can't you get it, Clutch? Contact. Got it. Just in time. Charlie, and clean the windshield and check the tires. That does it, Charlie. You saved our lives. Glad to oblige, Cargo. We almost lost you. Take her away. Everything's operating normally, Spinner. It's a good time to run our heat barrier test. I'm going to pop in the afterburner. Whee! We're going so fast, the plane's getting hot, Clutch! Yes, yeah, Spinner. You can cook hot dogs in here. <laughs> Clutch 
cargo. It's clutch cargo. Hooray! Yippee! They're okay. Well, fire me. That character must have a charm like. They're breaking the heat barrier. And a boy clutch. Well, who can play this game? He's too hot for us. He's getting away. Oh, yeah. I got something up my sleeve for hot pilots like clutch cargo. A heat seeking, side finding rocket missile. Oh, no. Not that. No. It'll fly right up their tailpipe. Oh, no. A heat-seeking, side-winding rocket missile. Oh, no. Bam Shot has fired a heat-seeking missile at Clutch's plane. How can they escape? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Global Test Flight. You remember last time, Clutch's plane was refueled in the air. Once back on course, they continued their global test flight. When Colonel Bamshot found his other tricks didn't work, he fired a heat-seeking rocket missile at Clutch's plane. Clutch, behind us! Oh, no. A heat-seeking, sidewinding rocket missile. Clutch, it's catching us! I'll shut off the afterburner and die. trying to tell him he was pulling the wrong lever. Hey, Clutch! Colonel Bamshot just ejected himself! I'll call the Coast Guard to pick him up. Help! What'll I do? 50,000 feet up, no parachute, no pilot, and I don't know how to fly! Hey, that sounds like Willie Predikins. What's he doing up here? Help, Clutch! Colonel Bamshot hijacked. He ejected himself trying to shoot you down. I haven't got a parachute. I can't fly! Well, hang on, Willie. You're about to learn how. Your ship wants to fly straight and level by itself. All it needs is a little help from you. But how do I do that, Clutch? Your nose is dropping. Ease the stick toward you. To lower the nose, ease the stick forward. That's got it. Just ahead. Pull your flaps and landing gear, and I'll talk you in. Pull your throttle back. Hold your nose up. Good show, Willie. They made it. They made it. Okay. You are witnessing the finish of the greatest global test night in history. You did it, Clutch Boy. We heard the whole thing over the short wave. Bam shot was picked off an iceberg. And we just heard from Jet's capital city that both Jets did so well, both PJ and I are getting contracts. You not only have a fine designer in Willie Fredikins, but he's now a top-notch test pilot as well. And nobody will ever call me a Freddy Cat again. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the global test flight. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.